Monday Night Raw comes to you live in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And King, the WWE is on its heels as the United Kingdom begins to gain ground in its quest for gold. And speaking of the United Kingdom, here they come! Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen Wade, Wade Barrett, Barrett, William Regal, Drew McIntyre, and the United States champion, Sheamus, the United Kingdom! Last week it was John Cena that came out first, and this week it's the United Kingdom! And boy, can you hear the difference in the reaction by these fans! Will you simpletons please show some respect? You're in the presence of the new United States Champion. Lord McIntyre, I'm afraid we expected this. You see, Americans have no respect for themselves. And they've no respect for each other. So why should they have any respect for their United States Champion? They just don't have any respect for you guys. Very true, Lord Seamus. And with that kind of attitude, why would anybody want to be champion of these United States? For that very reason, I have retired the championship of one worthless country. And I'm reinstating the championship of the world's greatest continent. I hereby declare myself the European champion. Declare yourself European champion? What gives you the right to declare anything? In fact, what gives you the right to disrespect these people and this country? If you want respect, you gotta earn it. And as far as I can tell, you boys have been cheating your way to the top. At TLC, I won't need to cheat to beat you. Well, that won't really matter, Drew, because our match at TLC will be a chair match, meaning we can both do whatever we want to each other. I didn't agree to that. I didn't agree to that! Well, you didn't agree to this either. Drew, you, and Seamus have a match right now against me and this guy. After trashing the United States, Sheamus and Drew McIntyre have to pay for their sins. Apparently, don't even get to change for their wrestling gear. A huge bone jar. It's quote, he didn't want to be the country. That's right. And then he crowned himself. That suplex was picture. Devastating damage to the upper vertebrae. What? Time. Sheamus, the Irish curse backbreaker. High cross. Oh, down goes Ray. Cena going for the attitude adjustment. Ooh. Look out! Oh, right to the temple. Barrett just stole this match. One, two, three. Here are your winners. The Celtic Warrior Sheamus and Drew McIntyre. Nice job. Now I need your help next week with Undertaker. Happy holidays, everybody, and welcome to Friday Night Smackdown. You can almost smell the turkey cooking, King. Well, I don't know anything about turkey, but I do smell a goose that's about to get cooked, and that's a big goose known as the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom has earned several championship matches for TLC. One of those matches will pit Wade Barrett against the WWE Champion, Undertaker. Yeah, and if Undertaker destroys Wade Barrett, I'll have plenty to be thankful for. All right. Undertaker has to be around here somewhere. Where did he go?
We want to see you in the ring now. Well, this is unexpected. Apparently, Sheamus and Wade Barrett attacked Undertaker, and now Kane and Undertaker have challenged them to a match. Well, I think the United Kingdom have finally bit off more than they can chew. What do the Brothers of Destruction have in store for the United Kingdom? We find out next. is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, the WWE Champion, The Undertaker, and Kane. And their opponents, Wade Barrett, and the European Champion, The Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. that Sheamus and Barrett are going to be very cautious in this match. Well, this isn't what the United Kingdom wanted. That could break your back, the Barbaric. Oh, man! He landed right on it. Oh, man! What impact from that super... This time, Sheamus, the Irish curse backbreaker. Uh-oh, uh-oh. When you're fighting the Undertaker, who's about six... Here goes the dead man. <laughs> and Undertaker's rolling. Oh, what a slam. What impact. This could do it. Sheamus and Barrett have had enough of Kane and Undertaker. Well, they might be able to run away tonight, but in two weeks at TLC, there'll be no place to go. Welcome back to Monday Night Raw, and what a match we have lined up next. Well, I know Regal and McIntyre have been naughty this year, but I must have done something nice, because I get to see Divas. And that's right, this Sunday at TLC, William Regal and Drew McIntyre will face Ezekiel Jackson and Christian for the WWE Tag Team titles. And Layla will face Natalya for her Divas Championship. So up next, all six of these competitors will face off in a mixed tag team match. This bout is a mixed tag team match. Introducing first, from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, she is the Divas Champion, Natalia. Is one half of the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions, Ezekiel Jackson. Is one half of the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions, Christian. And their opponent, from Miami, Florida, Layla, William Regal, and Drew McIntyre, United Kingdom. Well, King, I guess your holiday wishes came true. The ladies will be starting this one off. The King over this way. She's in bad shape here. She's got to make the tackle. That landed like a ton of bricks. Vicious shot to the lower back. Like, look, commentating with you, I'd say the same thing, Michael. And the ref sees the tag. He wants to win titles. What a move. Getting Five. The tag is made. There's a tag. What a move by Layla. One. Two, Two, three, three. Layla wins. They did it tonight, King, but can the UK win again on Sunday? Well, they have a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. The United Kingdom looks as powerful as ever, but Ezekiel Jackson and 
Christian, Rey Mysterio, Undertaker, and John Cena will not back down an inch. TLC, this Sunday on pay-per-view, can the British invasion be stopped? And now, WWE presents TLC. The following is a table, ladders, and chairs match, and it is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Introducing the challenger from Dublin, Ireland, weighing 272 pounds, the Celtic warrior, Sheamus. His opponent from West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing 240 pounds, is the world heavyweight champion, Jan C. It has come down to this. Sheamus is obsessed. Okay. A face buster! Uh oh, this is bad. John Cena's no slap. Oh man, targeting the ground. Okay, this Sheamus is just flat out beat. Oh my, that table just exploded. Trying to put him away. Oh, Sheamus, no! Cena's got him. Cena going for the attitude adjustment. Sheamus has the ropes. Oh, my. Cena delivers an attitude adjustment over the top rope. Yeah, but did you see the way Sheamus landed? It looked like he blocked some of the impact. Well, it doesn't matter because Cena's going up. Cena's going to win. Wait. Look at Sheamus. Look at Sheamus. Oh, man, this is awful. No, he can't. He did. High cross. And John Cena landed with a sickening thud outside the ring. I don't believe this. How did this happen? King, the United Kingdom has won every title in WWE. And the new world heavyweight champion, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. We enter a new year on heels of arguably one of the most infamous nights in WWE history. We welcome you live to Monday Night Raw in Miami, Florida. Michael Cole and Jerry the King Lawler at ringside. It was an historic night for this band of, well, I guess we have to call them champions now, the United Kingdom. Yeah, never in my life have I seen a group just dominate the way the United Kingdom did last night. Say what you will, but you have to give them credit. And now, King, they hold all the gold. Before you is every champion in WWE today. You see, when a man or woman from Great Britain puts their mind to a task, it gets accomplished. I've been in this industry long enough to see many groups come and go. The Generation X, Evolution, the Four Horsemen, and the men that formed those factions were all outstanding. But they were just men. Peasants, if you will. We are kings. We come from countries of nobility and honor. We are superior to you. We, the United Kingdom, are superior to your four horsemen. Hey! It, it can't be! I, I think that's the music of the four horsemen, King! It's the enforcer of the Four Horsemen, Arn Anderson! I'm sorry, William. My hearing's not as good as it once was. Did you just say your group, the United Kingdom, has been around for the length of a sneeze, is superior to the Four Horsemen? A group that dominated for 20 years? Did I hear that right? 
That's exactly what he said. Drew, you talk out of turn again, I'll come down there and take you over my knee. Do you understand? Look here, you dinosaur. If you don't think the United King is better than the horseman, then we can find out right now. Look, Seamus, my competitive days are over. But if you're feeling frisky, I think some can be arranged. Now, just a second. Let me think. I have it. John Cena told me just a couple of minutes ago he was looking forward to his rematch. But he doesn't want to wait until Royal Rumble. Seamus, you and Cena are going to tangle right now. So here we go with the rematch. John Cena couldn't wait. He wasn't going to wait for the Royal Rumble. He wanted Sheamus here tonight. Well, about how they are the most dominating group in the history of under Cena. But one has to wonder about the condition of Cena. Sheamus hit that massive high cross. Lead Lucian is to win that championship back. If there's anybody on to put an end to the United Kingdom. Oh gosh, there's no telling how much damage that. How about his smarts? Yeah. I'll be now Seamus, the Irish curse. Hey, what should Cena be looking for now? Well, Seamus going for high cross. But Cena counters. Ooh. STF. STF locked in. Seamus hit the ref. Was that accidental? Oh, I doubt it. Here comes McIntyre. Wait a minute. It's Arn Anderson. Ooh. DDT. McIntyre's skull first. Cena. Cena's gonna win. Attitude uh. adjustment. One, two, three, no. McIntyre breaks it up. How close was Cena? Uh. And the ref has no choice but to disqualify Sheamus. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monday Night Raw. Michael Cole here with the Hall of Famer, Jerry the King Lawler. And King, the road to WrestleMania begins at the Royal Rumble in just three weeks. Well, the Royal Rumble is the most unpredictable match of the year in WWE. You see things that make your jaw drop in that match. And of course, if you win the Rumble, you punch your ticket for the main event at WrestleMania. We've also learned that after the events of last week, John Cena will face Sheamus one more time for the World Heavyweight Championship at the Rumble. Well, here come the party crashers. Once again, I have retained my World Heavyweight Championship against John Cena. Yeah, but you didn't beat him. And now Cena wants to try again at the Royal Rumble to take the title from me? Fella, it's not gonna happen. And the same goes for Lord McIntyre and Lord Regal's opponents tonight. Boy, you know what? You guys are pretty crafty. See, here's the thing. Daniel Bryan and I are pretty crafty too. The UK has been banned from ringside for our tag match. So why don't you go and work on your tan, Seamus? So Kofi Kingston and Daniel Bryan will face the WWE Tag Team Champions, William Regal and Drew McIntyre. Yeah, and the best part is that the United Kingdom is banned from ringside. We're back, and this match for the WWE Tag Team titles is underway. Down on the shoulder, Regal. Yeah. How sudden was that? that McIntyre won. Not only did they win the tag titles, but that night, and there's a tag. His partner doesn't have. This is bad. And it sound moves like that. That I am. Look at this. Look at this. Regal goes for Kingston, but Kofi counters. Regal staggered. Oh, what a leap by Kofi. This young man is so agile. Hope he's going to win. Oh, what a shot by Regal. Did you see that? It looked like Regal just threw something out of the ring. Yeah, I think Regal grabbed Two, something from his tights three. right as Kofi was going for trouble in paradise. Here are your winners. Gang, look at this. Regal it's Arn Anderson. And Drew McIntyre. Apparently he saw it too. Oh, look, Michael. It was Brass Knuckles. 
The referee has reversed his decision. Your winner by disqualification, Cody Kingston. Well, Cody and Brian earned the victory. Right. But Regal and McIntyre will retain the titles as they can't change hands on a disqualification. The United Kingdom escapes again. Welcome back to Monday Night Raw as we continue to draw closer to Royal Rumble in two weeks. And up next, the Rated R Superstar hosts The Cutting Edge. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what's on Edge's mind. And don't forget, King, we have no idea who his special guest is going to be. Well, that's right, Michael. With the Royal Rumble coming up, it really could be anybody. Welcome, everybody, to The Cutting Edge. You know, it's great to be in my old haunts. And speaking of old, my guest tonight is about as old as it gets. Ladies and gentlemen, the enforcer, Arn Anderson. <laughs> Mr. Anderson, it's good seeing you again. Can, can you see me? Oh, Edge, I've always loved your sense of humor. Speaking of funny, do you smell something funny? Arn, did you forget to change your adult diaper? You know, I can't figure you out, Edge. I thought you were having your own problems with the United Kingdom. Well, I always say, if you can't beat them, join them. And speaking of join them, I give you the United Kingdom. Arn, you need to relax. You wouldn't want anything bad to happen. Like hell I don't. I'll move on. to put him away. Well, that's it! Ooh, that looked like it hurt, Arn. I'm Edge, and I approve of this message. Good job, guys. Guys? Well, here's the thing, Edge. Nobody asked you. Who I am? Yes. And now you'll never forget who we are. <laughs> 